Hi, I'm Raghavi Mohan and I'm going to discuss how to handle control hazard in MIPS using Mars Simulator. What is a hazard? Hazard is a problem which prevents the next instruction in the instruction stream from executing. Now let's see what are all types of hazard. It is structural hazard, data hazard and control hazard. In this video, I'm going to tell you about control hazard and how to overcome that. Control hazard. This is when a decision needs to be made, but the information needed to make that decision is not yet available. It occurs if there are branching statements in our code. How to overcome this? It can be done using three techniques. Forwarding technique or adding a hardware or introducing a stall. What is a stall? We can just simply make later instruction wait until hazard resolves itself. This is done by introducing a bubble or adding a stall. Now let's take a simple code with a branching statement to understand the control hazard. Here branch not equals branching statement is used. If t not register is not equal to 1 then it goes to rec loop and performs multiplication but if if it is equal then it goes to the next multiplication loop and performs the multiplication. This slide gives the line by line execution of the code. Now let's see the line by line execution. When we consider first line, the number 2 is being loaded into register T0. Here in second line, the number 5 is being loaded into register T1. Similarly, the number 10 is being loaded into register T2. Here we can see the hexadecimal value of 10A is being loaded into register T2. Then, when BME statement is to be executed, MAR simulator does not do BME statement directly. It uses add immediate statement and then performs BME statement. Hence, this number 1 which is to be compared with the register T0 is added with 0 and stored it in register 80. Now the value of register 80 and the value in register T0 is being compared and when this is not equal it goes to the rect loop. So in the rect loop we can see the multiplication process. So this multiplication is done and the result is stored in register T3. We can see the result hexadecimal value 32 which is 50 when it is decimal. So now the result 50 is stored in register T3. Just now we saw the execution of the code in Mars simulator. Now let's see the pipeline diagram for this code. In MIPS architecture whenever when a branching statement is found three stalls being introduced and that is what this execution stall, memory stall and write back stall and then a complete stall is being introduced into this instruction stream and that is why it takes 10 cycles to complete this instruction but when we use MAR simulator for BME statement extra one cycle is being added so totally it takes 11 cycles to complete this entire code. This is what happened inside pipelining. So for the first clock cycle you can see the load statement enters instruction fetch stage. For the second clock cycle the first load instruction moves to instruction decode stage and the second load instruction goes into instruction fetch stage. Similarly, the third instruction enters instruction fetch stage but that time the other two instruction propagates to the pipeline. For the fourth clock cycle, the fourth instruction branch not equal to enters fetch stage and the first instruction load enters memory stage. During the fifth clock cycle, the first load instruction is being processed and then the value 1 is being stored in register T0. 
at the same time branch not equal to condition enters decode stage when the pipeline finds a branching statement it stops other instruction entering into if stage in the sixth clock cycle the second load instruction is being processed and the value 5 is being stored in register t1 at the same time because of this branch statement a stall is being introduced in execution stage in the seventh clock cycle third load statement is processed and the value 10 is being stored in register t0 and the second stall is being introduced in the eighth clock cycle a third stall is introduced by that time the result of branching is decided and then it allows the next instruction to enter if stage in the ninth clock cycle the multiplication instruction and other instruction propagates to the pipeline in 10th clock cycle multiplication instruction enters execution stage and there multiplication is being done now in 11th clock cycle the result of the multiplication is being stored in register t3 so totally it takes 11 clock cycles because of that branching statement in mars simulator branching statement includes another one statement add immediate and because of that extra one clock cycle is being added so now we saw how to handle control hazard with stall in nits using mars simulator now let's see the benefit of stalling stalling is relatively a simple hardware technique and it only penalizes performance when hazard exists the drawback of stalling is it increases the time of processing but in some conditions only stalling can be used to overcome these hazards rather than using forwarding technique or adding a hardware so stalling is a important technique for some cases thank you for watching this video